2024 Mustang Dark Horse. Did I just take delivery of this Dark Horse? Let's find out. Before I give you the answer, let's take a look at it. Oxford White 24 Dark Horse 700A package. Does not have the handling pack on it. But gee, she is beautiful. She is a beauty. She is a beauty. Got the grabber blue brakes on this beauty. 255 40 R19. I almost a ZR, but they're R19 front tires. And you got 275s, I believe, on the rear. Yep, 275, 275 40 R19. Let's take a look on the wall, outside before going the inside. God, I just can't get over that exhaust. in the back along with your additional two piston caliper this brake system is initially off the shelby gt500 it was just like my yellow splash metallic gt premium performance pack let's hop inside all right so here's the interior dark horse cool thing is the uh, Fox Money theme. You can do classic 67, 68. Oh my god, that is so cool. And you can do the Fox Body theme. Calm screen. Track. And drag mode is the same way too. Sport. And normal. Let's go back to six, the classic 67 68. That is so cool. That is new. It came up for the 60th anniversary Mustang, which was uh, April 17th. Yeah, the 17th of April. That is so cool. Pops. Sounds amazing. Here you guys have it though. Classic screens from the 67 to 68 Mustang. Alright guys. So in conclusion, I did not buy this Dark Horse Mustang. I just want to show you to you guys 24 Dark Horse Oxford White with the 708 package for Carl Blue Umber seats with the seat belts and all that good stuff with the steering wheel as well. Um, st still am looking at getting a Shelby GT500. Just waiting to find the right deal. Hopefully very soon we will have the GT500 within the stable. Just patiently waiting for the right deal. All these cars are going for five to six to seven thousand dollars over MSRP with low mileage. Um, me personally, I just want to get a car with lower mileage because I'm going to be keeping it. And this time, I'm not going to go like crazy modifications on it, but in due time, I will do crazy modifications. But at first I just want to do exhaust, intake, pulley, you know, the simple stuff. And then once down the line, when the warranty is kind of about to get voided, then I'll most likely, well, I mean, I'm already going to void the warranty with long two headers, but 
still I just want to be in the safe side you know so and plus it's already plenty fast enough so I don't want to make it into a, like a 1300 1200 horsepower car so the goal is probably just to stay right right around 900 to a thousand to the wheels so but yeah guys thanks for watching drop a like I appreciate you guys taking your time watching the video subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video take it easy